Hey, Jacko, do you know that you can fish it and even ship it? But what am I even talking about? I'm talking about Soundly and the two plugins that you can get for free. I have covered one previously on the Get Soundly website. Go to the Tools section, scroll down. Now I don't know if the Shepet plugin is new, I have not used it previously, so we will give this a try. And I have a video on the Placeit plugin. Both of the plugins you can simply download for Windows and Mac and install them. Now when installing them, let me just see if I have both installed. You will find them in the Vinci Resolve at least under the audio effects, VST effects, and as you can see I have the sound duplicit plugin, so I still have to install the Ship It plugin. So once you have this downloaded, you will simply install it as usual, but what I will do is only install the VST3 plugin. If you also need the AAX plugin, also install that one. So the installation is complete, I can now close this, but as you can see, the plugin does not appear in DaVinci Resolve and even if I go to Preferences, Audio Plugins, I do not see it. In this case, if DaVinci Resolve was opened, when you install the plugin or both of them, you will not see them or be able to use them. And in this case, even if DaVinci Resolve was closed, you may still need to open it a couple of times for the plugins to show up. So upon launching DaVinci Resolve, once, let's see if the plugin is inside, as you can see it is still not, but if I go to the preferences tab, audio plugin, I do see the soundly shape it plugin that is being detected, but I still cannot see it or use it, so I will close the Vinci Resolve once more and open it up again. And now on the second launch, I do see the soundly shape it plugin. And I can also use it. And to use it, well this is an audio plugin so you need some kind of audio. I will simply use my last video as reference. Now the sound implicit plugin, what it does is it puts the voice into a space, hence the name place it. You have a bunch of presets to choose from, so if you want to put yourself into a car and have the audio sound as if it was coming from the radio, you can totally do that. I have a question for you, but before I do, let's take a look what the topic will be about. So you can also in this case select the vehicle, maybe van 2, and the place that this is coming from. It could also be a laptop. So laptop and van 2 about custom edit controls in DaVinci Resolve. And if you want to disable the plugin, you have the option to do so here and you can also disable either the speaker or the space. And in between you have the wall if the sound was being isolated by a wall. As you could hear, the sound was being pretty much muffled. So that is the Soundly Placeit plugin and if you go to the Inspector tab Effects, you will have the options also available here, but as I already have a separate video on the Placeit plugin, you can watch that video after finishing this one. So let's take a look what the Soundly Shape It plugin can do, not much immediately, but we also have some presets and we can see that this is an equalizer. Now DaVinci Resolve does have an equalizer on its own, but it doesn't really have any presets, so if the presets is what you want and don't want to make your own, you can just use this plugin. So maybe you want to have a dialog clarity, dialog boost lows or dialog boost highs. But first let me disable the plugin so we can maybe hear the difference. I have a question for you, but before I do, let's take a look what the topic will be about. It's about custom edit controls in DaVinci Resolve. I made this video two and a half years back and I got a question. So I do like the dialogue clarity preset, 
Now I do have an option to boost or reduce the input volume and also the output volume. And you can mix between the two. Now, if you want to go back to the default settings, you will simply click, double click on the knobs. And that is pretty much it. Now you can make your own presets, as you can see, and you can also reset the values. Now I'm not much of an audio guy, so I basically choose what sounds good to me. You could select a preset that you like, go to the inspector tab effects, and as you can see, you can enable up to 10 bands. In this case, we have three bands enabled. If I enable band four, I believe this was the green one. I can now simply move this around. As you can see, this is the band frequency and gain. I can also adjust the band Q. And this is what that does. But I can also change the type. This is bell. And you can do a lot to this. But again, as I said, I'm not an audio guy, so I have no idea how this should behave and what sounds good. But if you have one microphone, you can pretty much do this only once, make a preset, and it will always sound nice. That's easy. I'm inside the Fusion page of DaVinci Resolve. And to make a custom control, you have to right click where you have the control bar. So you simply right click, customize and make a new one, give it a name, something unique would be ideal. And that's pretty much it for the Soundly Playset and Soundly Ship It plugin. This video was not sponsored by them, but I do enjoy using the two plugins. Well, at least I enjoy using the Playset plugin and I believe I will also be using the Ship It plugin from now on. If you have any questions and maybe even suggestions about DaVinci Resolve plugins, let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more DaVinci Resolve content. And until next time, Jackal, keep it digital.